Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Danger Collecting Pickups. Today we're going to look at a whole mishmash of stuff that I was able to get over the past couple weeks through Mighty Micro Comic Con, Comic Book Syndicon, a number of local shops, as well as thrift shops. Alright, so in no particular order, but we're going to start off with this pile right here. Now, this past weekend I was able to attend Comic Book Syndicon. A great job to those guys, by the way. And I was able to get a variety of books uh, in no particular order what we're going to start with uh, is this one here uh, this is Sentinels this was done by uh, David Jacob Duke uh, who happens to be an amazing creative director and graphic designer if you happen to be watching this whose work I appreciate a lot so I could not let this sit was able to get that book and actually this specific book I got from Rogues but that was signed by David now going back to Syndicon uh, had the opportunity to meet uh, Casey Pierce and um, she and her team were working on this book here, Nora, so I just wanted to tire, uh, test it out and uh, read through it, but uh, this was signed by the entire creative team, um, including Casey Pierce, Sean Seal, and Jason Westlake, so that's Nora, number one and two, and that was great to get. And then the highlight of uh, Comic Book Syndicon was um, Bob Budiansky, who worked on uh, Transformers uh, and Sleepwalker, to name a few. And uh, this book here I actually got from my boss. Um, Bob did the cover art on this book actually, and he addressed it to Colin. And just so you know, um, I was just rebagging and boarding a lot of stuff over there. So don't think that I just let books sit like this. <laughs> the other book here was The Amazing Spider Man Skating on Thin Ice. And this is number one. Uh, Bob had worked on this. Um, this was commissioned by the Canadian Association of Police Chiefs, and this was on the War on Drugs. Uh, back in the 90s cover art by McFarlane uh, it's a good book and you see there that was Edmonton Oilers on the cover I remember getting this book from 7-eleven when I was a kid and um, uh, with that said um, this was Transformers number 12 uh, this was signed by Bob I always just love this cover for some reason it was just Optimus Prime blasting away at everyone and then this I got for my friend Jason who could not attend um, another book uh, by Bob and uh, yeah I forgot to give that to him the other day. In the wild, for 50 cents, I was able to find this book here. I know, it's pretty crazy. First appearance, Doc Samson, Incredible Hulk, number 141. Could it go wrong? And then back to Syndicon. Uh, for the price I got this, cannot let it sit. Um, Death in the Family, graphic novel. So I will give that to my son to read when he's ready someday. And then he already has all four books. So that's uh, great to have as well. Through my friend Jason, was able to get Venomized Doctor Strange, and then at Rogue's Gallery Comics, uh, Old Man Logan, uh, Venomized, and the cover I love right here. This is uh, All New Wolverine, number 18. This is a variant. Uh, this is what happens when Laura Kinney plays around with aliens. So, let alone Venom, this is exactly what would happen if there was an Aliens movie that featured All New Wolverine, or X-23. Um, first appearance, Hugo Strange. All right. And off my friend George was able to get this um, book, uh, McFarlane cover. Here we have another book, um, uh, the, the anniversary book. Um, it was done, a lot of people worked on this, and it was number 400, Batman. And a little bit of Captain Carrot in our lives. Going back to Rogues, was able to get this um, Vampirella uh, variant version cover, and it was done by Lindsner. Here we have a reprint, but a great book nonetheless. Uh, definitely to read uh, as well and enjoy is the um, Iron Fist uh, first appearance of Sabretooth. But uh, more recently, I was able to get this awesome Bradstreet variant, as we can see here. here. So that's great to have. In the wild, uh, got a couple books, including um, Red Sonia 1, 2, and 3 um, for 5 bucks. That's great to get. Uh, and then actually we'll come back to this in a second here. This is a coverless flash book But what ended up happening was on the other side I saw a book which we'll talk about for a second and the, the two-pack was for five bucks and I'll come back to that Bit of promotional material Captain America a little bit of Stranko And then over here a little bit of Kirby never hurts And now we're gonna get in some cool stuff got this uh, actually hold it for a friend here. This is uh, Daredevil, the Sinkowitz, and uh, that's a tough book to find. And here is uh, Electro Lives Again, another great book. Actually, my friend uh, David has this, and I flipped through it, so got that. 
Going to some local talent, uh, Batman 23.1, the hologram Joker cover, signed by Jay. And then a little bit of Black Hammer, signed by Jeff Lemire. A little bit of more Lemire, signed uh, Descender number one, the regular cover. And then we have the variant cover. And uh, we're just going to jump to a little sketch by Johnny D. Uh, that's uh, throwback to Incredible Hulk, the McFarlane cover, fantastic. When I saw this, I got this off my friend George, and I just loved it. Um, this is early Johnny D, so pick that up. And here we have After Death or AD by the team, Scott Snyder and Jeff Lemire. So uh, I'll let my friend Robin look at that, just inspire him for a sec for other reasons. But hopefully, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Well, that, I'll just leave that out there in the universe. Going back to that two-pack, <clears throat> so I looked at this book for five bucks, right? And it was, again, then I later learned it's a two-pack. And I walked away, came back like literally half an hour later because I was thinking about it the whole time. I'm like, where do I know this? And usually you know books from covers. And in my life, I would have never, ever seen this flash page. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking about it as I'm walking away. And I'm like, okay, why is this important? All right. And I go back and finally I look at it in more detail because I, I usually just passed over it like this and then I walked away and then I realized it's Flash of Two Worlds. So I was like, wow. All right. So for five bucks to get this book and the other book, have some great reading material. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to get a cover swipe for that. Um, but just to have it, it's, it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, for my one friend who got showcase, I hate you, but uh, I got it from the same place and I'll just leave that out there because we all know who that is. Tony. All right, Tales to Astonish, uh, another book. I was able to get this for five bucks. All right, so uh, love me some classic Ant-Man. And that was great. Uh, just, uh, what is this? Uh, some just random Silver Age Neil Adams cover. And uh, yeah, oh, here we are. Uh, Bernie writes in, rest in peace. Uh, this is, a, honestly, it's a near mint uh, book. I'm gonna low grade it and say 9.4. I pulled this thing out. I've like looked through it under light. I was like the book lays flat There are no creases. It's just amazing and it's signed by race and uh, so I was very happy to get that. All right <clears throat> And by the way, I was just totally joking. This is a uh, first Silver Age Two-Face Harvey Dent <laughs> All right, so just some more random books here um, but Good books nonetheless. Some are just reading because eventually I just want my son to read the books um, and enjoy it. And then eventually if he has the originals to just put away, that's great. But, um, you know, having a, you know, there's nothing wrong with having reprints to enjoy it. And here we have New Frontier. This is uh, signed by Darwin Cook. I got this off my friend Alex. And just a couple of reprints. I, I actually have this, but, uh, you know, obviously I'd rather prefer my son read that than <laughs> the original. And then... Um, uh, a reprint, uh, Luke Cage, Hero for Hire. We'll get back to this book in a while, but I'm glad I have a reading copy. Uh, I just love this art, Batman and Robin. Uh, a couple other books. She-Hulk, number one, I got that from my uncle. And Police Comics. Actually, I, I love, one of my favorite superhero hero characters, part of me, is Plastic Man. I have no idea why. It just, everyone has their own favorite little superhero character. There's Plastic Man for me, and there's Adam Strange, uh, and a few others, which I love. But uh, anyways... Moving forward, on an epic trade, mostly trade, a little bit of cash, I was able to uh, get a great deal from my friend George. Uh, it included, um, here we have uh, Marvel Premiere number 16, this is second appearance of Iron Fist. Then we have uh, Marvel Premiere number 18, that's the origin of Iron Fist. Then a couple in the regular series number 2, number 3, and the PS de Resistance was first appearance of Iron Fist. Marvel premiere number 15. That was great to have. Also, getting to the highlight of the night. In a bundle, on an epic trade, was able to get this throw in the deal. Uh, the Punisher miniseries, that's uh, great. Second appearance, uh, Punisher through Amazing Spider-Man number 135. Oh, and I kind of just went right to the, the best part here. First appearance of Punisher, Amazing 129. Um, that's my first copy that will be Ryder's copy. Um, that was fantastic to have in near mint condition. Um, so that was great. And then just another Punisher book thrown in. And that's it. All right. So as you can see, it's been an amazing couple weeks here in my area. Got some great books um, from a couple shows and uh, some things for down the road for my son. That's it for another edition of Danger Collecting Pickups. Hope you guys are all well. Congrats again to the guys at Comic Book Syndicon and to my friend Tony on his mighty Micro Comic Con. Thanks.